This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Well, we've talked about all these little aggravating creatures, you know, like the mosquitoes and the ticks and all these little aggravating little creatures of summer. But what about those beautiful creatures, the dragonflies? And I promised you a couple of weeks ago we'd do something about it. And my gosh, the images are just stunning. I was stunned by how many varieties there are in Kansas and just what interesting stories go along with these little creatures. In fact, our wildlife segment today, let's take a look at the dragonfly. Perhaps even more than butterflies, dragonflies are nature's jewelry. As if made by Louis Tiffany himself, each one is a work of art. They glitter as they light on summer blooms or hover over farm ponds. In swarms, they are downright magical. The dragonfly is often interpreted as a sign of good luck or prosperity, and in some cultures, lead fishermen to the best fishing spots. The British writer Icy Sedgwick recounts from her research the Japanese festival of Bon held in mid-August. The spirits return to visit the living, similar to Mexico's Day of the Dead. This coincides with the appearance of thousands of dragonflies, leading to the belief that the departed souls rode on the wings of the dragonflies, or perhaps the dragonflies were those souls themselves. In some Native American traditions, the dragonfly was a dragon that shape-shifted when tricked by the coyote and cannot change back. In most cultures, they are positive symbols, but sometimes not. One of the common names for the dragonfly in England, which carried over to America, is the devil's darning needle. In fact, the names for the dragonflies are as colorful as the creature itself. The blue dasher, the giant darner, the dragon hunter, the red saddlebags, the western flying adder, the widow skimmer, the orange meadowhawk, the Halloween pennant, the eastern pond hawk, the ebony jewel wing, the eastern amber wing, the common sand dragon. The names hint at their color and appearance. But it isn't just their unique appearance that makes the dragonflies the subject of wonder. It's their ability to maneuver, to hover, to fly backwards, to fly so quickly, to mate in midair. Surely they do seem to possess magic. According to Mother Nature Network, the dragonfly is a skilled predator, consuming gnats, mosquitoes, and other small bugs. They don't simply chase down their prey. Instead, they snag them from the air with calculated aerial ambushes. Dragonflies can judge the speed and trajectory of a prey target and adjust their flight to intercept prey. They are so skilled, they have up to a 95% success rate. There are 5,500 dragonfly species in the order Odonata, according to InsectIdentification.com, and nearly 500 of those live in the United States, and a whole bunch of them live in Kansas. On your next outdoor outing, take some time to really observe this amazing creature. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. <laughs> 